Hi, I was reading the Doctor Who book, Dead of Winter, by James Goss. This is a small book with just over 250 pages, but just like the Doctor's TARDIS, it's much bigger on the inside. The story begins with the time-traveling Doctor crashing a TARDIS on a beach next to a seaside clinic in the 1700s. Dr. Bloom, who runs the clinic, finds the Doctor and his companions and takes them back to his rooms. It is soon apparent that something strange is going on. Dr. Bloom seems to be healing diseases that had no known cure at that time. Many of his patients were suffering from tuberculosis and every day, rain or shine, he would take his patients to the beach to give them some fresh air. It turns out that while at the beach, an alien force within the water would heal the patients and read their thoughts and memories in exchange. The force at the beach preferred to heal the intelligent patients and would refuse to heal the dull and boring. The doctor's mind was of great interest to the alien, so the doctor had to swap bodies with one of his companions to prevent his mind from being probed. This led to some unusual and confusing situations. One of Dr. Bloom's patients was a prince and he had worked out how to control the sea alien and so would use its force to kill and control others. As the Doctor tries to stop this misuse of power, he reveals that Dr. Bloom's wife was actually a recreation brought forth by the alien force. This causes her to disappear, which leads to Dr. Bloom shooting the Doctor in retaliation. By this time, the Doctor had his own mind back, and we start to worry whether this could be his end. He is taken to the sea to be healed, and his mind and memories are at last read by the alien force. After reading the Doctor's mind, the Force regrets his actions and leaves forever. With the alien Force gone, the Prince starts to become ill again, and regretting his evil ways becomes a patient of Dr. Bloom once more, but most likely will die of his disease. The Doctor and his companions leave to continue their travels, and Dr. Bloom is left to continue to heal the patients as best he can. This book had a lot of twists and turns, which I think was intended to keep it interesting. Personally, I found the excitement and action at the beginning of the story meant that the following exposition seemed to drag on before anything new happened. I was a bit disappointed when the rising action never seemed to lead to a climax. As a slow reader, I struggle with this, though a fast reader might find it less of a chore. For much of the story, after crashing the TARDIS, the Doctor's quirky character that Hoovians have come to know and love was sadly missing as he had bumped his head and was not himself. This for me made the slow moving plot so difficult that the only thing that kept me reading was the fact that I was reviewing it. While this book had a variety of well-meaning characters and one evil prince, there was no real hero or climax. The doctor appeared, took away an alien means of helping people, leading some of the sick to die, and then left in the TARDIS. I think the story would have been improved by having more action and definite hero saving the day. As I said, this book was bigger on the inside, but not in a good way. I have read other books in the series by different authors and have found them more entertaining and much easier to read. I'm sorry Mr. James Goss, Dead of Winter receives two and a half stars from me.